Oh look, a treasure chest. The pyromancy flame and the fireball spell, just like the common set. Wow, that's pretty cool. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, as you saw, sped up there. Um, went ahead and got myself the Pyromancy Flame from No Man's Wharf. That's one of the cooler ghosts I've seen around. He had a jester hat on. Um, we don't have any uh, attunement slots, so we need to level something up in order to get that, I think. Although, don't we have a ring that allows us to have more attunement slots? I think we do. Um, ring of Blades is probably... I'd, I'd say just knowing the mechanics of the Soul series, a little bit less useful than the Chlorinthy Ring. So this one here adds about like 20 to your attack, right? Um, let's go ahead and see what this would change to if we uh, unequipped it. I am not like, okay, yeah, it'll take 20 damage. So it's like uh, not quite 10%. I guess it's closer to two-thirds of a percent, or sorry, something like that, whatever. <laughs> two-thirds times ten, or something like that. It's not much, um, but stamina regen is actually quite nice. Um, the ring that we want instead is... allows attunement of additional spells. There we go, so we don't have to drop any levels into getting attunement. We can just use our southern ritual band here. So, now, let's go ahead and try and equip some pyromancy. Boom, we have two. We have two attunement slots. Perhaps because the ring is plus one. Would make sense. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab combustion and also fireball. We have two fireballs because one came in the uh, in the chest, of course. We, uh, we could. We could have two. I think... I think combustion... Well, you know, we'll grab both of them. I've liked both of those in the past. So to let you guys see what that's about, there's combustion. It's just a short range little flame gets summoned right there. And fireball throws fire away. It, it doesn't actually explode nearly as, uh, as large as it did in Dark Souls 1, it looks like. Go ahead and rest at the bonfire in order to get those attunements back. And head on back to Senor Spider. Oh yes. Alright, I'm not sure what the secret door ahead was there. I think we're accidentally backtracking though, aren't we? This seems like it could be a secret door over here. Apparently you have to hit the door and then press A. Like if there's a if there's a hidden wall, you have to hit it and then press A as well in order to walk through it. So I don't know, maybe I've actually hit some uh, some hidden doors in this walkthrough and not known that. Try jumping on down there. Yes, let's do that. Have we actually done that before? Yeah, we have. That's the spot that we've done that before. Let's just kill kill the spider over here. We're gonna actually be cautious. We're gonna try and utilize some caution. There's not many souls over there. Um, there is a there's a dude with an item down here though, and we want that. I am trying to be a little bit thorough, especially since that bloodstain is so much less valuable than historical bloodstains we've lost to. And we lost 37,000 souls. It's a big deal. You know, it's certainly not, not ideal. But it's also not like walk through ruining. It's, it's not like that's make or break that amount of souls. We might die again here, actually. I need to find a spot that it's safe to Estes. Them, them slow, magical fireballs are, uh, are pesky, though. Only made more pesky by giant hordes of spiders. Let's go ahead and at least grab this back, though. Get our meager souls. 
This spot was safe before. We'll chug two Estus. Oh. Oh yeah. Get at me, spiders. Alright. This guy dropped down. We like that. We'd like to encourage that behavior by killing him. Alright, that guy's magic dwindled there. Maybe we can just shoot him from here. And say, haha, our bow and arrow has longer range than your magic. Deal with it. Seems to be going fine so far. Um, someone pointed out that back in the cursed runes... That's just- alright, that's just a, a player's ghost. He's dual wielding giant clubs, which is pretty awesome of him. You just need to use iron arrows in order to break the, uh... The vases in the cursed runes. Thank you guys so much, by the way, for your useful comments. I love those. And even the constructive criticism comments. I love those as well. So I guess what I'm saying is, leave me comments, and I love you. Oh, what up? What up, Curse Frog? You ain't getting nothing out of me. Alright. This guy here has avoided us in the past. Oh, no. Baited. Baited by the Crystal Lizard. That's alright, that's fine. That's fine. We're gonna get it next time. Next time ain't gonna be no crystal lizard getting away from us. We're gonna dissect this area, alright? We haven't act like, so the reason why I'm continually dying in this pit of death here is because we haven't actually had an opportunity to explore it very well. Um, like I wanna know, I wanna know what that lizard drops. And I wanna know how to do it without, how to, how to get there without having a very high chance of dying. Like, I'm legitimately curious about how you do these things. Let's try, uh, let's try going down this way. Might give us a more opportune angle to approach this from. Be wary of dwarf. Bug left. No. Oh, yes, there is. There is, in fact, a crystal lizard there. Can we drop down onto it? Oh. Excellent. Titanite chunk and a petrified dragon bone. And a titanite chunk and a twinkling titanite from the item that he led us to as well. Those are some huge items right there. The, it seems to have died, but it might have died to the magic hitting it or something? Because it didn't drop any items for me. I actually thought that the Curse Frog was dead. 100% thought that the Curse Frog was dead. That door doesn't open from this side. Nope. Oh no. He got us with the pincers. Ow, jerks. There we go. This dude actually can't even shoot us when we're out there, but taking care of him just doesn't seem like there's any downside. Nope, nope. Oh, he pinched me. That's fine. I'm, I'm cool with the one where he runs forward. If one of those things hits you with the, uh... With the one where it grabs you. Grabs your head. It's, like, all over, though. I feel like I've explored a lot of these side rooms, like this one here I obviously have, um, and it, it looked familiar, I just didn't want there to be, you know, two doors behind bookshelves and not know what happened in that one because of that. Did that, is that a crystal lizard that just fell through the world? That's what it seemed like it was. That is a creepy freaking room. Alright. Whoever built this room, you need to get your creepiness in line. 
just to help me. You know, your usual help me. Flame Butterfly back here. Ferris's Lockstone. Extremely useful. Let's go ahead. Someone's trying to shoot magic at us, which probably means that we have a line of sight on him. And his magic can't quite hit us. Okay, never mind. It totally did. We can get his much larger projectiles to stop on the door and still shoot him. With our bow and arrow. This is the sort of thing that in most games you'd be like, oh, that's cheap, but I'm sorry, you can't you can't accuse somebody of being cheap in Dark Souls. It's just not a thing. Don't pull any punches on the game, it's not gonna pull any for you. And look at this guy's AI actually tried to adjust. Oh, that actually bent around. Okay. Adjustment successful. Oh my god. He's bending it like Beckham. It's ridiculous. I've got to remember that we have three items equipped now, so... It's just because I have an item that I don't want equipped doesn't mean that the one I, I'm thinking of is on the other hand. Or is what I will get if I change items once, rather. Oh, there's more spiders. Oh, jeez. Oh, I want a drink. There we go. Oh, God. This is going poorly. Roll out if we have to. Okay, excellent. Oh, man, he got an attack off there. That was really fast. I'm wondering if I actually need to drop down to here in order to get that. Because there is an item in there. We can see it. We can't climb up there. And we tried jumping. And that was not very successful from, like, the, the more elevated position over here. So I'm thinking, yes, I will need to drop down in order to get that. Oh, there's another bonfire in there. How do we get there? It's not like that's much progress from the last bonfire. Well, it's just to help me. To help me right in front of this candle. It's got a really high rating. I, I can't I can't help but try here. Ah, right, let me just try combustion. Okay. Doesn't seem to be that we light that on fire. Unless we have to do it with a torch, which would be a little bit odd. I don't know that it's much of a mystery how people are dying around here, but Gotta be smarter than the giant slow moving orbs, that's all. Him I probably could have just walked up to and killed, but that's a a pretty perilous thing to attempt. It's not like we have great magic resist on our shield, and so we'd probably be tanking a lot of those just, you know, blood just a lot of damage from getting hit on the shield. Uh what else can we do from down here? It seems like a lot of the things you need to go different ways while you're climbed up, like while you're further up. So, 
Can we climb up over this? No. No, that's just where a pile of spiders comes from. We are out of Estus. Sad day. Totally willing to use life gems, though, if need be. But I'm curious about where we can uh, climb up. I feel like we should be able to just break this door. This is now the other sand pit. We might need to climb back up a ways in order to in order to get the last items over in the other pit. We'll see if we can do that. I haven't been very successful about finding any way to climb back up so far. I feel like the monsters in this pit are way less deadly. That was a ton of damage. What? What, spider? That was ridiculous. Who taught him to hit like that? So we've certainly fairly explored the stuff leading down to here. Like, I'm not going to say that we've found everything, but, like, we've looked a lot. This just seems to drop back down. What's that sound? I think that was just the curse frog down below us. It was not of our concern right now. Checking for, um, like, fake walls, slash hidden doors. Let's just go kill this stuff over here. Large Titanite Shard from that guy would be very useful in good time. How about over here? What I want to do is get back up in order to, uh... In order to get the items over on the other side. I honestly, uh, I might just use a Homeward Bone. I'm not convinced that we can get back up to there. And we've got quite a few Homeward Bones. I don't know that I've seen them in a shop. I don't actually remember. That'd be a useful thing to know, but with seven of them there, I'm not that concerned. Usually it's easy enough to backtrack instead. The worst thing that happens is that, you know, we're a little bit less efficient in exploring places because we have to go back. Weakness forest, but hurrah for fog wall. Ladder ahead. Try jumping. It's not actually a ladder, though. Oh, there is- what? 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 what, what huh? Man. Man, dumb messages, though. This guy might have killed some people in this room. He doesn't seem entirely trustworthy. Cleric small shield. We'll take a look for that. There's another... No, that's that's the same ladder that we came up. Um, Cleric small shield. So it's... Like, much lighter weight. I'd actually be curi most curious how it compares to uh, the large leather shield. Than anything. This has 1.5. It's got 40 stability. 90 physical. Um... It seems like it's actually just got really high non-physical resistances. 90% against lightning is actually really noteworthy. Spell shield be used by clerics on pilgrimage, enchanted with a somewhat fragile blessing that allows spells to be deflected by parrying. That's cool. That's really cool. 
specially crafted to provide extra durability and some level of physical defense. Something seems to be bothering you. Yes, yes, I can tell. It is written upon your face. You have doubts about something you did. I am Cromwell. Regret, anguish, disillusion, bewilderment. What wonderful gifts they are. Together, they are the essence of life. Don't you agree? But now you're lost, bewildered by your own actions. You poor little thing. Yes, yes, how tiny and frail are we? But if your heart is yet sincere, your sins will be forgiven. Now is the chance. Demonstrate your sincerity to me. I guess we'll see what items you sell, at the very least. Um, some... Priest... robes. Don't seem great. They're certainly quite lightweight. Um, they do have the pretty high lightning resist that seems to be associated with cleric-y things. Increase our resistances to different things there. Dark trotches. I thought that was... Dark... I, I had read that dark torches completely before. Huh. And a bunch of miracles. Heavenly thunder. It emits lightning in random directions. Scholars bicker, bicker over whether this is the original lightning spear or a derivative. One can never gain full control of the power of the gods. But with a little favor from Lady Locke, this spell will destroy your foes. And, uh, scraps of life. What's that? An esoteric spell created by Navlon, the infamous exiled sorcerer, awakens the souls of the long-buried dead. The heretic Navlon was executed along with the entire village, and the mere utterance of his name became a crime. Some say it was because he sought to restore the banned art of resurrection. Catalyst is a sacred chime. Or does that mean you can use it with a catalyst or a sacred chime? It seems to require both faith and intelligence. Yeah, that's cool. So it's like halfway between a spell and um, a miracle. What does Perseverance do? Wreath 6 Caster with a Pure Veil grants temporary resistance to status effects. Lindell's well, ascetics are sent to dist distant lands for proselytizing and self-training, but many of them decide not to return. Commit Force, Force, Caressing Prayer... Um, purifies the body, removing all poison. I think we've seen the rest of these. I don't think that we've got sins. Anyone can be forgiven, as long as he is sincere. No matter how terrible the sin. Surely, we all deserve mercy. Yes. Anyone can be forgiven. Alright. Surely. Dialogue options exhausted. 